Hey everybody, my name is Ruby Stewart. Welcome to another episode of Thought TV. Today I will be discussing and giving biblical context on why it's important to wait to after marriage to have children. So stay tuned. So why is it important to wait to after marriage to have children? I will give you six reasons why it's important to wait to marriage to have children. The number one reason is so you won't be a baby mama or a baby daddy. Usually the term baby mama or baby daddy is used when two people have children and they're not married. Number two, the second reason is so all the children can live under the same roof. Many times when you're married and you, um, when you have children outside of marriage, the child or children live with one parent and they can sometimes alternate or don't get to even see the parent at all. So it's better to raise all the children under the same roof. The third reason is it could possibly be cheaper. Many times when you don't live under the same roof as both parents, one of the parents have to pay child support and it could end up being a lot more than what, the, than what it actually costs to take care of the child. So the fourth reason is that you get to monitor the child. You get to see their emotions. You get to be uh, there physically to help raise them and groom them into who they are. I'm not saying this can't be done if you're not married, but many times when you're married and you're together and you're making decisions together, then the child will have a better outcome and you can monitor what's going on with the child um, on a regular basis. The fifth thing is that it's very important that the child does not feel neglected. So what happens is when a child is living in two separate households, the child may feel neglected. Or if there's more children involved, the child may feel like the children that's living with either the mother or the father are getting more of their attention than the one that's living with the other parent. So that's a re another reason why it's important to wait until marriage to have children. And lastly, number six, I'm going to give you biblical context. There isn't a lot of biblical context that talks about having children before marriage, but it does talk about committing fornication. You can't have children unless you have a sex or artificial, you know, artificially done. But the majority of the time is by way of sex. So the Bible speaks against that. And I will read to you actually what it says. First Corinthians 6 and 18 reads, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. So as you see, the Bible said it's actually a sin for us to be having sex and not married. Therefore, if we abide by what the Bible says, we wouldn't have children outside of marriage if we're not having sex outside of marriage. So I just wanted to give you guys those reasons why it's important to wait until marriage to have children. Now, I'm not here doing this video to condemn anybody, to make anyone feel bad, because I was almost a baby mama, not once, but twice. When I got out of high school, I was looking for love and found it in all the wrong places. So I ended up getting pregnant. Had I had that child, I would have been a baby mama. The father was not ready for marriage and neither was I. I would have been a baby mama the second time because when I had my daughter, I was engaged. I wasn't married. So engaged is not the same as marriage, even though we knew we was going to get married. So I was almost a baby mama twice. So I'm not here to judge or condemn anyone. I'm just encouraging you and giving you some thoughts to why you should wait to after marriage to have children. If this video blessed you in any way, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Also, hit that notification button to stay in the loop. See you next time for Thought TV. Be blessed.